Is the S19K Pro as good as what Bitmain claims? Let's find out. Listen up miners, I gotta ask, what mining pool do you have your ASICs on? Now the bigger question, why? Reliability, security, profitability, and uptime are must-haves for serious crypto miners. All reasons why I've been running my new Bitcoin, Caspa, and Script miners on ViaBTC.com. ViaBTC.com has a unique, one-of-a-kind mining mechanism called Smart Mining, which unlocks higher returns for Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash miners. In addition, what sets ViaBTC.com apart is their hourly payouts, auto withdrawal, and conversion system, which I gotta say is super convenient. Go check out ViaBTC.com today via the link in today's video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you. What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. Well, I said no more Bitcoin ASICs. Well, I lied or I fibbed or whatever you want to call it. I had to get my hands on one of these because one, the price was just insane to me. And then on top of that, the watts, we're talking 2,700 watts for 120 terahash. So what ASIC are we talking about here? We're talking about the Bitmain S19K Pro. Brand new unit just came out on the market. And man, the price I paid for this thing is unbelievable. So check this out. I got this from Altair Tech. If you guys aren't familiar, I'll put a link directly down below. But look at this, 1689 to your door. That included shipping as well as any duty taxes or anything like that with customs. I couldn't believe it. So 1689 for 120 terahash. It's absolutely insane. I don't know about you guys, but since the announcement of the S21, prices of things have dropped dramatically for ASICs across the board, specifically for Bitcoin. And I love it. I love the direction that things are flipping. I mean, I, I don't know what the whole spiel is. I don't know if Bitmain is trying to push farms to swap or to flip their inventory because of just the pricing. I mean, the S21 is like, what, $3,500 with an estimated delivery of February. It's absolutely nuts the direction that this scene has gone. I mean, and, and I still can't believe it. If you guys are brand new to the scene, for me, I joined back during the last bull run and 100 terahash units were going for like 15, 16, dollars $17,000. And now we're talking about 120 terahash for 1600 bucks. Absolutely insane. So anyways, S19K Pro just came out more recently. I went ahead and got one here. So let me go ahead and get it unpacked, unboxed and hooked up because I'm curious to see what it actually does at the wall. Bitmain claims 2,760. I don't believe it. My guess, taking guesses now, we're about mid 2,800. We'll have to see. And then my second thought is, does this unit have low power mode? Let's find out. All right, so the S19, K Pro here, there we go, get that to focus. Has an AM logic board in it. Don't know if it's gonna, fo oh, there you go, perfect. 120 terahash, looking good from Altair Tech. So look, we got our fans right here in the front, pretty typical, nothing too, too crazy. Power supply fans here, these are the C13 to C14 cables. Um, and, oh, look at that, there's even a little Altair Tech sticker on it. That's pretty sweet. Thanks guys, I'll take it. All right, backside here, same old, same old, nothing too, too crazy. Now, one thing I was looking at on their website, uh, you know, it shows here it has an AM logic board in it, but man, I gotta change my focus on my camera. But the nice thing is, is I actually was looking, you can actually put in the Epic control boards. Not sure if you guys have heard of those before, uh, but they're an additional control board um, that has like a third party firmware on it. Uh, you don't pay any like minor fees or anything like that. You just buy the board straight out and it's got a bunch of different features or I think like Brains OS, but you buy just the control board. I was looking on Altair Tech, they actually have them. Uh, let me bring that up real quick, hang on. All right, so on Altair Tech's website, I'll put a link down below if you guys need it. It does show here you can add the Epic UMC control board. So it gives you enhanced overclocking, undervolting, and a bunch of other abilities. So if I click on that, I was checking earlier, they do carry it. So it's like $158, but it's like the one-time cost. Uh, and the nice thing is it gives you kind of more options than your typical Bitmain board. 
Um, so anyways, if you guys are interested in this and testing it out, you can see it works with the S19s. Uh, I'll put a link to that down below. Uh, if there's enough interest, guys, maybe I will connect with Altair Tech, get one of these and kind of test it out and play with it. Alright, so let's take a look. We've been up and running for a few minutes and guesses on the amount of watts. Bitmain site says 2,760. Let's take a look on my 30 amp 240 volt. You're actually at 3,000 watts at the wall. Wow. Okay, so not as efficient as actually what I expected, which is a real shame. So now let's go ahead and take a look at sound levels, as I know you guys are interested. It is quieter, definitely, uh, than some of my other A6. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a listen. So not too bad, we're at 70 right now, right in front of the unit. Let me go ahead and back up a little bit. Now I am on my lapel mic, so it's gonna be a little quieter for you guys, but just wanna kinda give you guys an idea with distance. 63, 64. Let's go all the way back just in case you're looking to put this basement or garage. Look at that, about 59 or 60. All right, let's jump over to the computer and see how it's been performing. All right, Miner, so it has been 15 minutes, actually 17 minutes now. Uh, and we've been up and running. Uh, our average in that 17 minutes is about 122 terahash. Real time is about 122 as well, so super close. Now, I don't think I showed you guys earlier, but I do have everything on NiceHash currently right now. Um, and I can run through that real quick for my Bitcoin miners. So I have my S19J Pro Plus, that's 117 terahash. Uh, and some of these are on low power mode, some of them are not. It really comes down to what I had available actually on that breaker and circuit uh, in the shed. And we'll head over to the shed here at the end of the video to get this installed. I have three S19J Pro 100 terahash units. Um, we're gonna be using two of those for my immersion setup, so stay tuned for that video. Here is the S19K Pro 120 terahash unit at the bottom. And then finally, we have the S19XP, that's the 141 terahash unit that we just got back not too long ago from Bitmain. They actually went ahead and replaced that. If you guys haven't seen that unit actually was DOA, well, it ran for an hour and then died. Um, so Bitmain actually sent me a replacement, which is awesome. I'll put a link to that video directly down below. Now, the last ASIC uh, that I do not have on NiceHash, though, that is a Bitcoin miner, is my Canon Avalon 1346. That's the 110 terahash Bitcoin miner from Crypto Miner Bros. And I wanted to show you guys that really quick. So that's on Via BTC, and Via BTC has been really fun to play with, kind of kind of learn a little bit more on a different pool. I don't think Via BTC gets a lot of attention, uh, and here's why. So the nice thing is if I go over to Assets, you know, they support a boatload of different assets on their pool, which is nice, right? But what they also offer, which I didn't know about till more recently, is you can go up to this convert option, and now you can come in here and actually have everything auto convert. So like you could be running like your script miners on here and have it auto convert to Bitcoin or Ethereum Classic and auto convert to Bitcoin. We usually think of something like two miners or unminable, uh, but this is actually built directly within the pool. So go over and check it out. I'll put a link to via BTC directly down below. Lots of links today. All right, miners, let's get our S19K Pro from Altair Tech. Let's get this sucker unplugged and head over to the shed. All right, so we're about to head over to our ASIC shed with our S19K Pro. And uh, some things are going through my head a little bit. Um, so first off, 
we use a lot of watts down there. 3,000 watts? Like, what the hell? Well, as you guys know, and maybe you don't know, so I'll just throw it in there. Um, ASICs, they really fluctuate on their watt consumption based off of ambient temperatures. Some of my thoughts are, is like, okay, because it was in that closet, and granted I had the closet door open, not, there was really barely any airflow. Maybe that's the reason why we saw 3,000 watts. So when we get over to our ASIC shed here, um, I'm going to put this on its own PDU and its own circuit, and let's retest the S19K Pro on traditional cooling, you know, having all the airflow and stuff like that in the shed, because maybe we'll be closer down to that 27, 2800 mark. All right, we have our S19K Pro from over on Altair Tech, and check it out, up and mining right now inside the shed. Decided to put it on rack number four. If you guys aren't familiar, we label everything with the alphabet for our cables, so we're on our K cables there. Everything runs over and over to our PDUs over there. So, as you guys can see, we haven't been up that long, but four to five minutes, if we refresh it, there we go, four minutes, 30 seconds, 121 terahash. Now, remember what we talked about with like the watt usage? So let's take a look. So here's K, the only thing on our PDU, PDU four, we're using 3,032 watts. Now, what's really funny is, and this is just Bitmain for you, let's go over to the website here, we're on Altair Tech, and it's claiming 23 joules of terahash at the 120 terahash there, but at our watts, it says 2,760, and it says power on the wall 25C. Well, let's take a look at our airflow right here. We're at 25.5C. We are not getting what Bitmain is claiming, even with a 5% plus or minus difference. This is not right. Bitmain, sorry guys, a little sleazy. You're kind of fudging your numbers a little bit. So it says you should be getting 23. We're actually, here's our Bitmain S19K Pro, 122 terahash, 3052. Right now we're at 25 joules of terahash for our efficiency. So Bitmain, get your shit updated because that is not accurate. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, I can't really blame Altair Tech. They just take their info directly from Bitmain. But yeah, the price though, regardless, for 120 terahash, $1,689 from Altair Tech. That is awesome. I'll keep you guys updated on how we make out with this thing. We may get that Watts once we start to see super cold temperatures here in Pennsylvania. We'll have to see. Huge shout out to the team at Altair Tech for working with me on getting my hands on this S19K Pro. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you want to be updated when you when I drop my next video, go ahead and click that bell, and I'll see you guys next time.